Does anyone else have a doppelganger in the room that they get told they look like? Yeah, what's your one? Lindsay Lohan. Oh, did you do crack? <laughs> were you Herbie fully loaded when you were eight? Were you? <laughs> Japanese here? <laughs> Anything I say is racist. I'm gonna... <laughs> so, uh, are you Japanese? No. No? It, it sounded good, because like, no one else knows what you said. What did you say? Is that what you said in Japanese then? Yeah. So you answered <laughs> you answer the question in Japanese? Oh, cool. I was trying to get out my phone to check. <laughs> was that from high school? No, I just... Uh, I work at Sydney Green. <laughs> <laughs> really an explanation. That's all you mean, like, yeah, I work at McDonald's, I have a gun. <laughs> yeah, I work at Bruce Gomez. I sneak into America sometimes. <laughs> Is there else have a weird fear? Being called gay at school. <laughs> oh, mate, that's not a fear, that's called mild homophobia. <laughs> Something that you need to um, deal with personally. <laughs> right. But are, you, are, you over it, are you over it now or are you still at school? Uh, I'm at TAFE, but I can't. Because <laughs> you are gay, Ethan! <laughs> Just had our first tape on tape. Hey, well, right? It's like watching the special kids fight. It's fucking awesome. Right? So, it, I'm sorry, and I don't, I don't, I don't condone the heckle. By the way, I will repeat it for those that didn't hear it. I didn't say it. I think she said that's because you are gay, Ethan. Right? Was that the heckle? Yes. Now you don't have to say it's a very private question, but uh, do you identify as homosexual, Ethan? <laughs> you are definitely homophobic. Just, uh, <laughs> Cal knows a bit much. Uh, um, no, there will be nothing wrong with it if you are gay. I can't believe I'm the person in your life that has to tell you this. Um, well, well I'm, I'm sorry that bothers you so much. Um, you might be a bit of a shit person. <laughs> What's your uh, favourite thing about going back home? The food. Is there a specific type of food that you miss? No. No? <laughs> this couple says it's gone fucking nowhere. <laughs> it's like fucking Ethan's entire life. It's like... Do you have anyone from the UK? Yeah. <laughs> One dude. <laughs> So white, you guys didn't have other white people here. <laughs> yeah, which part of the UK are you from? I don't have you been here for a while? Ten years. Ten years. And what did you know about us before you moved here? I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, it's hot, everyone lives on a beach, and once a season, someone dies in a car crash. <laughs> it's actually not that far off from regional Queensland, but being honest. Over in the Bruce Highway, dude. Every oh, sorry, that's rude. No, am I a bad person? Yeah, I am. I, uh, does anyone else when they see like a car just wrapped around a tree on the freeway and just going, "Can't park there, man"? <laughs> you work at the Triple Zero Call. As at the Triple Zero Call taker, are you even allowed to say what the most wild call is? It's confidential, isn't it? I'm calls from the brothel. You get calls from the brothel. <laughs> Tears and you're like, now we're getting something. Yeah. So, wait, so sorry? It's so a triple zero. I, I don't speak rugby. <laughs> oh, because like you mean a root? Is that the joke? Yeah. Sorry, I had to lower myself. Do you want to that? I really did. Oh, because it's an emergency. I need pussy. Oh. Anyway, let's get back to all the field, just fucking hugging boys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, can I say, dude, I'm so, 
I'll, I'll get back to that. I'm so sick of rugby dudes being arrogant, man. No, I get it all the time with my shorts. Fuck the boys. It's like, dude, your neck doesn't even have the expansion pack yet. Yeah. Just these full dudes walking around just like, yeah. someone looked at you and then invented Minecraft. You know what I mean? Just these cubes. You know, they started it, they invented, uh, they recently, this is real, they invented shampoo for rugby players now. Yeah, it's called Head and Shoulders, dude. It's just... <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out. <laughs> Sorry? What did you say? You just like the brothel. And it's, yeah, good. Um, brothel or rugby club? Brothel. One person at the brothel. Is it your mum? What the fuck? She was great. Um, <laughs> we recently came back from the UK. Do you have anyone from the UK in? Yes! Yeah. Which part of the UK? West London. Great. And how long have you been here for? Six years now. How old were you when you moved over? 21. Oh, damn. You managed. Oh, fuck. You look great. <laughs> Pardon? The better in the UK. Oh, men are better in the UK. First audience dispute. <laughs> I get back at the lectern and start hosting a debate. <laughs> All right, what do you think about British men? All right. and what do you, hang on, let's just do it here. So, how come you like the English men? The accent. The accent. <laughs> that is hot, but have you seen the teeth? <laughs> and how come you think Australian men are hotter? The accent. The accent. I got to these chockies from the server. <laughs> She's like, ha! Ah. <laughs> Sorry, Fuck the rich. Fuck the rich. <laughs> Do you, do, do you like mullets? 
like that this guy who clearly has a mallet is like, he must be talking to me now. I'm the representative, I'm the only guy in Australia that has one, so I will speak now. Do you have a mallet, mate? Yeah. <laughs> you fucking hear it in your voice. For some reason, as soon as your hair hits the lower part of your neck, you just start going, yeah, fuck. <laughs> And like, what's the best thing about having a mullet, do you reckon? I love it getting the ball on. You say you love it to be pulled on? Fucking kinky boy, love that. Let's go. So when you're getting pegged, I assume? Where about you two be? Cheerleading. Cheerleading? Oh, great. Do, do you cheerlead too? I used to. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> You're a genius. Yeah, this man fucking knows what he's doing. He's like, all you know, these dickheads playing footy. Uh, you walk into one room, you're like, fuck, pretty good ratio in here. Then I'm like, a unique or obscure job. Council worker. What role? In the council. For the council? <laughs> like public toilets and shit? Fuck your life. Dude, <laughs> you're a hero. God, we, oh, fuck. Respect. That's crazy. What's like the worst thing that's ever happened? Plumbing for the council. Well, he didn't do anything about it. Oh, because he works for the council. Is that, is that a slam on him? Oh, you, you clean up this shit then. What the fuck's your problem? in public and it's this guy's fucking job and you're like, yes, fuck all. <laughs> what do you do that's so fucking special? <laughs> your hands is all thank you for your service. <laughs> the confidence to go to TAFE and then judge someone who helps everyone. It's crazy things. This is your job. <laughs> yeah, no, that's been busy lately. <laughs> By the way, pretty rich coming from me. I do fucking this. So, I'm not, you know, your job is harder than my job, right? But I'm just saying, out of the three of us, I would at least prefer his job. You know, because he's the public poop. <laughs> How many poops have you cleaned up this week? Email, Mark. Pardon? Uh, he, he went to the toilet, he's probably fucking on the job. <laughs> it's her job. Her job, not his, he left, it's her job. Oh, you work for the council? Yeah, yeah. Oh, great. Sorry, I thought it was a dude that said something before, was it not? Yeah, partner. Oh, your partner dog doing it, and then just fucking walk out. <laughs> what the fuck? What a bear. Okay, so you're a plumber, and what does your partner do? <laughs> that was fucking good. <laughs> yeah, so what does he do? He doesn't work. He doesn't work. <laughs> Hairdresser, you, you're now fucking second last. Well done. That's great. Uh, what was I talking Oh, nothing. Fuck all. Oh. Um, I was doing fuck all. Oh, fuck, who am I? Hairdresser? Alright, um. Oh, couple? Yes? Thank the Lord. Um, <laughs> so, whereabouts did you two meet? Oh. You had a crush on you for eight years. Yeah. Oh, there's a term for that. They call it uh, stalking. <laughs> Hell yeah, looking forward to the Netflix documentary, brother. <laughs> um, yeah, so he had a crush on you? She said, and yeah, I just didn't yeah. even know he existed, so I was just off doing, I don't know, hot girl shit, so, yeah. <laughs> He's just in the corner like, hi, hi. <laughs> you got the girl on the end, that's great. So how did it happen? Persistence is key, man. Persistence is key, yeah. yeah. That's the takeaway from this. Like, never give up. Never leave her window. <laughs> never climb out of the bushes, but not pull us up at all times. Okay, so how did he get your attention? I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you're here with him. You seem very happy. I think I was just going through some shit. 
You're just going through some shit. <laughs> You're a trauma response. <laughs> That's one below rebound, I think. No, no, I'm sure you both seem very happy. That was a joke. That was a joke. <laughs>